All right, uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you Akim, all you brothers out there pushing this truth and true sincerity. Um, today's lesson is basically through the Spirit debunking these uh, false doctrines from these other camps. And one of them is uh, Babylon the Great, which is America. All right, these other camps like to say that Babylon the Great is the Vatican City. Now, uh, from per personal background, growing, growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, that's a Christianity doctrine. Okay, they teach that Babylon the Great is, uh, they call it Christendom, but that symbolizes Vatican City, the Roman Catholic Church, which is a, a complete farce. Okay, so at first, uh, I'm just going to read the definition of Vatican City. All right. It says uh, Vatican City, officially Vatican City State or State of Vatican City is an independent state located within the city of Rome with an area of 44 hectares, 110 acres, and a population of about a thousand. Okay, a population of thousand. Rem remember that. Okay, and you probably already know where I'm going to go to Revelation chapter 18. So the Vatican City has an, uh, a population of about a thousand people. That's a small town city in, in South Georgia, man. All right. Maybe maybe a little bit more than that, but it's, it would be a, considered a small town city here in the United States. It is the smallest state in the world by both area and population. OK. However, formally, it is not sovereign with sovereignty being held by the Holy See. Okay, so I was just briefing to the point. I'm going to, I might go back to that Vatican City definition in the Wikipedia, but I want to get Revelation 18. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at First Timothy 4 and 1 because this is talking about these guys with these false doctrines, man. All right, and these guys like to say, Oh, you won West Camps, you won West, won West that, won West this. Man, you was, you was in a one West Camp called Great Millstone, fool. Now all of a sudden you anti uh, One West and GMS when you was just in it a year ago. Now you preaching a one a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, but you're just jelly. You're jealous. All right, that the spirit is not with you. You got you got the spirit of Saul on you a lot. That's the house of Saul, man. What happened when um when Saul started seeing that David was the one uh, who was who was being led by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, he got jealous, he got bitter, he got angry, and he lost the spirit. That's you guys right now, man. All right, so 1 Timothy 4 and 1. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, these last days that we're living in right now, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, saying the earth is flat saying that babylon the great is the vatican city saying the 12 tribes tar chart is off everything that they learn everything is wrong now so we're supposed to start over pack up our stuff and listen to you now so we gotta we gotta start over with what the lord is gathering for, for you niggas wrong okay it says verse two speaking lies and hypocrisy because that's all they're doing speaking lies Having their conscience seared with a hard iron. You can't change these guys in any way, shape, or form. You tell them to repent. You tell them the Lord is going to destroy you, which he will, he will do. And these guys, this conscience seared with, with such a hard iron, they don't, they don't take heed to the warning. They don't take heed to prophecy. All right? So real quick, Revelation chapter uh, 18. All right. Man, let me just read from the top, man. Revelation 18 and 1, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. Now these guys say that Babylon the great is the Vatican city, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. <clears throat> Let's stop right there. 
the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Does that sound like the Vatican City with a population of a thousand people? Come on now, man. Do all nations go to the Vatican City and say, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go there. I'm gonna bring my first gen I'm gonna bring a, a couple generations of my family here to America so they can get I mean I mean to the Vatican City, excuse me. According to these guys, uh, the merchants are gonna go to the Vatican City and they're gonna go get rich and they're gonna go spread uh whatever uh, uh former Euros because I think the Vatican City deals with Euros. Okay, let's look this up. Um maybe I passed. Okay, they deal in the euros. So you you think that these guys think that we're going to go to the Vatican City. We I'm going to I'm going to send my my second and third generation of my family over to the Vatican City so we can get rich and prosper off the Vatican City and we can send euros back to uh, our country. No. That that makes no sense, man. It's something that comes into your... First of all, the spirit got to be dealing with you. And then second, common sense has to play in part, man. That's America, okay? These other nations come here, whether you be a so-called African, a so-called um, Arab, okay, a so-called uh, East Indian, a so-called Chinese, a Japanese person. They own liquor stores. They own restaurants. They own hotels. They come over here. They get rich. And they send their monies back to their pers prospective countries. That is not the Vatican City. It's America. Okay? Because they can come here and get grants from the government and start their own little businesses and, and get rich and send money back to their homes. That's not the Vatican City, man. Okay? The circulation right now, which is crumbling, is the United States dollar. Okay? Everybody, well, like I said, the, the dollar is crumbling, but, you know... These people from these other countries want to come here and get that American dollar, man. They don't want to get euros. That makes no sense for you guys, man. All right, let's go back. All right. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. Okay, now in the Vatican City, yes, there are scandals. Okay, these Catholic priests, they do molest little boys. But who overall tells you that a man and a woman can get married. The Vatican City didn't legalize that. That was the United States, man. That was the United States government under Barack Obama. Okay? Back in 2015, I believe. The Vatican City didn't come out and say, yeah, we're going to legalize marriage between man and a man and woman and a woman. They didn't formally recognize that. The Pope, Pope Francis and that other devil who was a Pope before him, and they're both devils, but... That, that Pope before him that, that looked like a Nazi from Germany. I forgot that devil's name. But uh, they didn't come out and say uh, gay marriage is legalized. No, that was America, man. Okay? There, there's all types of uh, legislation on the books to legalize pedophilia. Okay, you have the NAMBLA, the North American Man-Boy Lover Association here in America. It's not in the Vatican City, even though these priests, man... They're pedophiles, they're sick fucks, okay? That are not, the Vatican City did not come out and say, hey, uh, we're gonna legalize uh, gay marriage. No, that was America, man. So now it's carried on to other states. When, when 2015, when that gay marriage got passed, countries like Italy legalized it. Look it up. Okay, other countries started legalizing gay marriages in their countries. Everybody falls under the vibration of America, man. Okay? Everybody wants to come here and get a Big Mac, a slice of apple pie, get their Harley Davidson, get their Cadillac or Mercedes Benz, live in your white picket fence house, man. That's You don't want to go to the Vatican City as a population of a thousand, man. See, common sense has to come into play as well, man. All right? Revelation 18 and 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. That's when the men of the Lord are being beamed up from this bitch called Babylon and the destruction of World War III, okay? For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. All right, because this is a line of confusion, man. You can, okay, there is confusion in the Vatican City. I get that. The Roman Catholic Church. 
but you have all types of manners of uh, doctrines here. You have Satanism. You can you can worship Satan here freely. You can be in the Church of Scientology. You can be a Jehovah's Witness, a Moor, a Muslim, a uh, Pentecostal, a Baptist. Okay, uh, Old Testament Israelite. You can join the IUIC. You can join the ISUPK. You can join AOC, AOI. You can join all manners of folly out here. That's not promoted in the Vatican City, man. All right. Reward her even as reward as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works in the cup, which she have filled, filled, filled to her double. All right, the same cup that we're drinking of now, slavery, oppression, even before that, Jim Crow, real slavery, like chains, yokes of iron upon our neck. This place is going to get double in destruction, man. You telling me that's the Vatican City with a population of a thousand people? Okay, um, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall utterly be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. So you really you trying to tell uh, your audience that America that Babylon the Great is the Vatican City. It's not gonna take an hour to destroy the Vatican City with a population of a thousand people. That's gonna take five minutes, man. One ICBM missile is gonna destroy that place. It one one intercontinental ballistic missile is gonna destroy all of Italy, man. All right, that little small strip of land. You telling me that it's going to take an hour to destroy the Vatican City with an ICBM missile. Man, you guys are crazy, man. Well, well first of all, you guys say that uh, America will be destroyed by um, volcanoes. Now you're saying America uh, is not Babylon the Great. It makes no sense, man. All right? Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. First Timothy 4 and 1 is what you guys are under. All right? And the king, verse nine, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her, shall be well hurt, because these countries live deliciously off America, namely Israel, and other countries who are in alliance with them. They they take kickbacks and all types of money from the United States. The, the United States goes in under the elite bankers, and puts their democracy, enforces their democracy on these countries. Man, now you got women in these countries. They wear pants. They can drive. Some of them even have voting rights where they live at. Homosexuality is rampant in these places. Bestiality, pedophilia. And you telling me that's, that's just a, a small place in Italy with a population of a thousand people. I'm going to just keep harkening on a thousand people. Okay? Because that makes no sense. All right, continuing on. I shall be well her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. All right, here's the point, man. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. You think anybody's buying a merchandise and selling in the Vatican City? Okay, now you have famous paintings there. Like uh, Saint Basilica and whatnot, but you 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 trying to tell you trying to tell your audience that all the merchants of the earth are gonna weep and mourn over the Vatican City. That makes no sense, man. All right, that that just makes no sense, man. All right, so I'm gonna just stop at Revelation 18. Let me get some scriptures on Babylon. All right, just bear with me for a sec. Just some more scriptures proving that America is Babylon, man. Okay? These guys just need to go, man. All right. Um, <clears throat> Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, because America is also referred to modern-day Chaldea, too, in Jeremiah 50, because of all the witchcraft going on like the television screen, man, all right? The television screen giving off false reports of um, false flag shootings, false proxy wars, all right? That's not happening in the Vatican City, man. That's happening in America, 
That's happening through Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, NBC, so on and so forth, man. Shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Like I said, it's not going to take much. If 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 Babylon was Vatican City, it would it wouldn't even, it would take a nuclear bomb, not an intercontinental ballistic missile, to destroy the Vatican City, man. That makes no sense. Isaiah fourteen and four, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. America has been a, a superpower since the eighteen nineties, man. Not the Vatican City. All right. America had to conquer the French, the Spanish, and the British, and they also had to bring the twelve tribes over here to do hardcore bondage and slavery, and then. That's when they started going over to impose their democracy on other nations, man. Not the not not the Vatican City, man. You guys don't also do history, man. You just look at the videos and then you you just sit at home and come up with a remix to the doctrine, man. You P. Diddy Israelites. Alright? Always remixing something up. Alright, so let's keep going on. This is a good one. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. So if America, if, if Babylon is the Vatican City, then what is the virgin daughter of Babylon? For you, for you guys out here saying that um, America is, I mean, Babylon is uh, the Vatican City. That makes no sense, man. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Okay, who's going to who's going to war in the majority of their existence? America, not the Vatican City. The Vatican City does not declare war on anybody, man. Okay, the only war to really hit America up until World War III is the War of 1812, man. Okay? And that, that didn't really do anything, man. This place wasn't destroyed. There was no significant damage during the War of 1812, man. This place is tender and delicate, all right? And that's why these people have this pride in their um, military, man. We got the best Navy. We got the best Army. We have the best country. We have the best defense systems when they actually don't. But this place has never been touched, man. You mean to tell me that's the Vatican City? All right, continuing on. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 25 and 11. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Okay, that's something doing with something else. Salakia. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah 50. There's a lot of scriptures about Babylon in the Bible. And these guys actually have the nerve to say that's the Vatican City. <clears throat> Jeremiah 59. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Okay, let's stop there. So if Babylon, the greatest Va Vatican City, you got to point to the news, all right? Is there tension between Russia and the Vatican City? Is there tension between North Korea and the Vatican City? Is there tension between, hell, even the Philippines and Vatican City? Hell no. It's America, Babylon, an assembly of great nations from the North Country, from the other side of the pond, you idiots. So you mean to tell me that countries on the other side have a beef with the Vatican City? It makes no sense, man. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. The arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Like I said, there is no, there's no news in the world right now pointing towards any type of friction between Russia and the Vatican City. China and the Vatican City. Uh, what else? North Korea and the Vatican City. Iran and the Vatican City. No, it's against America, man. That makes no goddamn sense. All right. 
Another scripture, Jeremiah 15 and 13, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at her plagues. You, you mean to tell me a population of a thousand people that all the nations are going to hiss and wag at, at the Vatican City? That makes no sense, man. So I'm just going to stop right here. I'm, I mean, to the spirit, the point has pretty much been proved that Babylon is America, not not the Vatican City, man. Okay? As a population of a thousand people, it's the smallest state in the world, man. All right? You know, now, of course, you got Revelation, I think, 16 and 15, where it talks about... Matter of fact, let me get that. Let me just read it. All right, you got Revelation chapter 16 and uh, verse 15. No, that's 6, excuse me. Revelation um, chapter 6. That is Revelation, excuse me. All right, Revelation chapter 16. Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Okay, that's referring to, yeah, yes, that is referring to the false prophet, the Vatican City, the Roman Catholicism. But it's not Babylon the Great, you idiots. Okay? You know, so with that, uh, when it comes to this false doctrine, man, you just got to, you, you, first of all, you got to have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashad to debunk this bullcrap. And then second, common sense just got to play in, man. Uh, uh, Babylon the Great is not Vatican City. It is not the Roman Catholic Church, man. So with that, I want to say death to Babylon, America. Death to you false prophets and shalom to the election.